the Merneptah Steli, also known as the Israel Steli or the Victory Steli of Merneptah, is an inscription by Merneptah, a pharaoh of the 19th dynasty of Egypt. The text is largely an account of Merneptah's victory over the ancient Libyans and their allies. But the last three of the 28 lines deal with a separate campaign in Canaan, then part of Egypt's imperial territory. It is sometimes referred to as the Israel Steli because a majority of scholars translate a set of hieroglyphs in line 27 as Israel. Now the hieroglyphs that refer to Israel in the steli employ the determinative for people as opposed to the determinative for a city used to refer to the other enemies of Merneptah which he defeated. The determinative for people was typically used by the Egyptians to signify nomadic groups or peoples without a fixed city-state home thus implying a semi-nomadic or rural status for Israel at that time. Egyptian chronology dates Merneptah's rule to 1213 to 1203 BC, and archaeology seems to confirm that until about 1000 BC, Israelite society was essentially a society of farmers and stock breeders without any truly centralized organization and administration associated with a fixed city-state. Because of this, any attempts by revisionists of the current Egyptian chronology, like myself, to date Merneptah's rule later than 1000 BC, is being rejected on the basis of this description of Israel as nomads by the victory steli of Merneptah. In my previous video titled, May 15, 2817 BC, start of the 523,046 days Sotic cycle and the May 27, 845 BC Sotic rise of the Ilahum Papyrus, I dated the latter part of Ramesses III's seventh year to 845 BC, implying that his first renal year was in 852 BC. According to Egyptian chronology, the first renal year of Merneptah was 27 years earlier than the first renal year of Ramesses III. This means, according to my revision of the Egyptian chronology, the first renal year of Merneptah was in 879 BC. The Israel Steli was carved in the fifth year of Merneptah which implies his victory against the people of Israel happened in 875 BC. Also, according to the reading of contemporary historical records, Merneptah ruled Egypt for almost 10 years. So in my revised chronology, Merneptah's rule ended in 869 BC. Now keep in mind that Jeroboam revolted against Rehoboam, the king of Judah, who succeeded Solomon. Because of this, the land of Israel was divided into two kingdoms, the northern kingdom of Israel, first ruled by Jeroboam and whose capital for the most part was in Samaria, and the kingdom of Judah, whose capital was in Jerusalem. Now the king of northern Israel in 875 BC, when Merneptah attacked northern Israel, was Omri who had a rival king also in northern Israel, namely Tibni. Both Omri and Tibni claimed the throne of the northern kingdom of Israel after their predecessor Zimri had ended his life after a reign of seven days. Because of this, the people of northern Israel were divided at that time into two factions, one siding with Omri and the other with Tibni. Omri and Tibni and their forces fought each other for several years until Omri's forces finally prevailed and until Tibni died. It appears that Tibni was regent over half the northern kingdom of Israel for a period of four years, and I believe that soon after Tibni died, Merneptah attacked those tribes that were loyal to Tibni and while they were still refusing to submit under Omri's rule. It is no wonder then 
that Merneta described these tribes in the determinative for people as opposed to the determinative for a city. Merneptah's reign ended in 869 BC or six years after he attacked Israel in 875 BC according to my chronology. He was then succeeded by two rival pharaohs, namely Seti II and Amen Mes. Seti II was the son of Merneptah and therefore his legal heir, while Amen Mes was believed to be a usurper. Egyptologist Rolf Krauss was the first to suggest that Amen Mes was to be identified with Mesui, who was appointed Viceroy of Kush in year 5 of Merneptah. The Viceroy of Kush was an office created in ancient Egypt when the former Kushite kingdom of Kerma in Nubia became its province. The Battle of Sephat, according to 2 Chronicles chapter 14, verses 9 to 15, occurred during the reign of King Asa of Judah. It was fought in the valley of Sephat near Maresha in modern-day Israel between the armies of the kingdom of Judah under the command of King Asa and that of the Cushites and ancient Egyptians under the command of Zerah the Cushite. Archaeologist E. R. Thiel offers the dates 911 or 910 up to 870 or 869 BC for the renal years of King Asa. 869 BC, as I mentioned earlier, was when Amen Mes, formerly Mesui, the viceroy of Kush, became one of two rival pharaohs in Egypt. I believe the Kushite Amen Mes was also Zera the Kushite who battled with King Asa in King Asa's final reinal year in 869 BC. He was defeated by the warriors of Judah who utterly defeated the Egyptians and Kushites which the Bible attributes to divine intervention. Amen Mes's humiliating defeat by King Asa of Judah is probably the reason why Amen Mes's rule lasted only for three years.